Hey, a new day, a new work week, and yeah, we still have more thunderstorms. I'm Chief Meteorologist Michael Coates in the First Alert Weather Center, and we've been seeing the spotty thunderstorms starting to take hold across the Snake River Plain and also in our foothills and local mountains. And things are looking fairly raucous right now in the Snake River Plain with some strong storm cells beginning to develop. We can see here the movement of the thunderstorms now coming out of the north and pushing slowly to the south and to the southeast, kind of in a backwards direction. But again, we're seeing an area of low pressure to our south, and that's continuing to pump in the moisture wrapping in from Wyoming and Montana. We have more of that here for tonight. So we got low pressure to the south, but then we also have some high pressure still off to the east here, and we're expecting to see a cold front coming off of a low there out of Canada for the midweek for Wednesday. Wednesday. In between these pressure systems, we're stuck with the moisture and the unsettled weather for tonight and tomorrow. We have a decent chance of some wet weather rotating back in here for your Tuesday, and then that low is going to make its move out of Canada, and that's going to put the kibosh on all of these showers by Wednesday afternoon. Here's a look at the Vipercast tonight, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. You got the uh, thunderstorm still with us, and at times we might be getting some heavier rounds of rain from these clouds. Overnight through tomorrow morning, there's a chance for some leftover showers to continue into your Tuesday. Tuesday. Then we move into Tuesday afternoon. Scattered thunderstorms will start to pop into our local mountains around lunch, and then we'll see the thunderstorm threat moving back into the Snake River Plain for the afternoon and through the evening. We expect to see some of these showers at times produce some heavy downpours, possibly even some hail, and frequent lightning strikes are a possibility as well. Then we get into Tuesday night. We're still stuck with some of this moisture that's going to carry a bit into Wednesday morning. But as we have this front that's going to blow out of Canada, this is going to push back on a lot of the showers by Wednesday and Thursday. And we're looking at some dry, windy conditions starting to work in here for Wednesday afternoon as a front blows on in here. So we do pull in some drier weather later this week as we head into Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Another area of low pressure is going to start to roll in the week, this weekend, and it's going to pull in some scattered showers and thunderstorms beginning on Sunday. And it looks like we're going to head into another period of some thunderstorm activity, as least, at least through Monday and Tuesday of next week there, possibly as far out as Wednesday of next week. So we're going to have a complete weather forecast for you tonight, of course, on Channel 8 and Channel Three. We have a 5 o'clock, we have a 5.30, uh, but there's championship basketball on again tonight at 6 o'clock, so there'll be no live 6 p.m. news on Channel 8. But, of course, also we'll have your late news at 9, 9.30, and 10 on Fox 5, Channel 8, and Channel 3. We'll see you then.